Hi, my name is Wade with Winnebago Motorhomes here in Rockford, Illinois, and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Winnebago Adventurer 30T floor plan. Uh, the Adventurer is built on the Ford F53 chassis with a Triton V10 engine in it. Uh, we also have automatic hydraulic leveling and blind spot side view cameras. So right off the bat here in the front on the passenger side, we have two storage compartments. Um, they are both pass-through storage compartments. They go all the way through to the other side of the motorhome. We also have a little Pet Pal tie-down right there for your pets. And then over here by our entry door, I have an LP Quick Connect fitting down there for an outside grill. And right above that, we have an outside entertainment center where we can hook up um, an outside TV here or play music on our radio there. A little bit further down, we have more storage on this side. We also have electrical plugins in there as well. And then towards the back of this side, we have a pretty deep storage compartment here. Uh, this unit features 118 cubic feet of exterior storage. And in the back of the motorhome here, uh, we have a 5,000 pound uh, towing capacity with this motorhome. Seven way plug down there to hook up our trailer. We also have high mount brake lights back here uh, for safety. We also have our ladder, which is gonna get us up to the roof, fiberglass roof. And right around the corner from the back, we have access to our 5,500 watt Onan generator. It is a gasoline generator. And then built into our slide out here, this is actually directly below the bed. In the bedroom, uh, we have storage access out here from the outside. And right below that, we have our water panel in there. We can do all of our water hookups, winterizing. Uh, we have drain ports down there. We also will reel up our shore power cord in there as well. A little bit further down is going to be uh, our compartment where we can hook up our sewer hose and dump our black and gray tank. We also have a black tank flush built into this unit. And here's the other side of that pass-through storage compartment, which we first saw on the other side of the motorhome. And lastly, on this side, we have access to our permanent mount LP tank. Right inside the entrance of the motorhome here, we have our controls for our 19-foot awning. Our awning features adjustable arms on either side, as well as LED lighting on the end of the awning roller tube. So up here in the front of the motorhome, uh, both of these seats do swivel around, which adds to some added seating here in the main living area. And we also have quick easy setup for our front cab privacy in the front here. And you'll notice right above me, I have a studio loft bed, which comes down for added sleeping space. Over here on the passenger side of the motorhome, we have another slide out. Uh, this has our sleeper sofa on it, and you'll notice we have three seat belts built into that sofa. So that's going to give us a total of five seating spaces when we're driving down the road. And right across from that, we have our TV, which does come out of the uh, cabinet work there. And then this table also pulls out. We can add a leaf here and add two more seats up here to our uh, table. And right next to that, we have our stove top, which does have a glass cover. Right above that, we have our convection oven microwave, storage below the stove top. And over here in our kitchen area, we have uh, bamboo sink covers. We have a flip up countertop extension, as well as plenty of storage around the kitchen area. And right behind me is gonna be our wood grain 7.5 cubic feet of storage refrigerator. Freezers on top, refrigerators on the bottom. We also have plenty of storage on the other side of me here. And then directly across from that, we're gonna have all our main controls for our studio loft beds, slide outs, uh, inverter control panel, as well as we can see all of our tank levels here. And then further back in the middle of the motorhome, we have our shower on the other side here. When this door is open for the bathroom, it kind of acts as a privacy door here. But this opens up for the shower. So right inside the shower, we do have a skylight to let in some natural light and a flexible shower hose. 
And directly across from me is the entrance to the bathroom, which again, when this is open, acts as a privacy door for whenever we're using our shower or, or the bathroom. We have a porcelain toilet in there, lots of storage below and above the countertop. And we also have a roof, power roof vent. And then here in the bedroom, um, it's almost like a his and her wardrobe because we have a separate wardrobe here, another wardrobe on the other side, as well as drawers below that, and really just tons of storage in the bedroom area here. And we also have a 24 inch HD TV here in the bedroom. We have a queen size bed here with storage below the bed. These are our extra two chairs for up front and the dining table. And then we also have our ladder for our studio loft bed right below that. And then also you'll notice on either side of the bed, you have 110 volt outlets as well as USB ports and also uh, storage right above the bed. So up front here in the cab area, uh, my controls for my hydraulic leveling are right over here on my left hand side. And then in the center console here, we have a 10 inch screen for our radio. And then right in front of the passenger seat, we actually have a work desk here with 12 volt power points underneath. That's the new 2020 Winnebago Adventurer 30T model. Now we have this unit in stock. Stock number is 10450. You can view it in person here at Winnebago Motorhomes in Rockford, Illinois, one of Winnebago's longest operating dealers. Or you can visit us online at winnebagomotorhomes.com. We are currently celebrating 53 years of business as a Winnebago dealer. So stop in and see for yourself how our many years of experience and award-winning customer service can make purchasing your RV easier than ever. For more information, click the link in the description. My name is Wade. And